Hi, it's Janelle and Peter from Parks House and Parsimony, and today I'm going to show you how to make Salisbury steak. I tried this recipe for the first time a couple weeks ago, and my kids loved it. It would also make an excellent freezer meal, too. So today, I want to show you how to make it. First thing we're going to start out with is one can of cream of mushroom soup. I went ahead and poured it in my container here, and to this, we are going to add about a teaspoon of horseradish. And yes, this makes it taste good. A teaspoon of horseradish, a tablespoon of just regular yellow mustard, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two. And you're just gonna mix this all together until it's well mixed and then we're gonna set it aside. And while Peter is mixing our sauce, I'm gonna start working on making the little steaks. I'm gonna be using about a pound of ground hamburger and then to stretch our hamburger, I add a pound of ground turkey. I'm also going to add approximately a quarter cup of finely chopped onions. These are actually ones that I've had in my freezer, so I'm just using that. Again, it's all about convenience when you have a large family. Usually you're very busy trying to do other things. And then we're going to add one egg. Is this good enough? That looks good. You can send it off to the side, Peter. Also going to add a quarter cup of dried breadcrumbs. You can use fresh breadcrumbs if you, if that's all you have. You can just make those yourself. I am just using plain breadcrumbs today. And then a little bit of salt and pepper, depending on how much you like. And then we're just going to mix this all up until it's well mixed. Super, super easy. Now that this is all mixed, the next step is to shape these into patties. So go ahead and shape that into a patty. Can you make them thick? You can make them fairly thick, not too thick. Enough so they'll stick together. Yeah. The ground turkey can make these a little bit on the softer side, but we really liked how they came out with the mixture of meat. If you want them thick, you got to add a lot. If you want them thin, you want them great. And if you were making this for a freezer meal, you would make these and then cook them. And then you would stop at that step. You would not make the sauce. You just freeze the cooked meat. And then when you're ready to serve it for your dinner, you would just make the sauce up then and heat them up on the stove. The patties are all made. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to cook them now. Over here at the stove, I'm going to go ahead and warm up my pan here with, oh, maybe a tablespoon or two of oil. I'm let that get hot. Once your oil is hot, you're going to start adding your steaks carefully. You don't want it to splatter. We're going to let these cook until they are nice and brown on the bottom and then we're going to flip them over. I'm not worried about these being fully cooked because we're going to cook them again. Right now they've been browned and we're going to start cooking the next batch. Once the steaks are finished, I'm going to add about, oh, maybe a half a cup. It's about three quarters of a can of just water. And I'm going to scrape up all those brown bits on the bottom of the pan. Because this is what's going to make that sauce taste wonderful. If you're using a higher fat content for the hamburger, you may want to drain off some of the grease. I am using our own homemade ground hamburger as well as the ground turkey is very lean. So as you can see, there was very little fat. It was mostly all juice and I wasn't going to worry about that. So we're just going to scrape up all these bits and then we're going to add our steaks back to the pan.
Once your sauce is all made, we're going to take the steaks and put them into the sauce. We're going to turn this down to medium low heat so it doesn't burn. And we're going to cover it and cook it for about 10 minutes or until the meat is done. Steaks are all cooked and ready to serve. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. You can serve these over pasta, rice, or pretty much anything that you want. These are delicious and they make an excellent freezer meal. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and we'll see you for our next video. Bye!